Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we'll create this animation using pure CSS. So when we click on this hamburger icon, we can see it changes to a close icon. And when we click on it again, it changes to the hamburger icon. And we'll also use a little bit of JavaScript to add and remove some classes. And uh, everything else will be done using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. In my project, I have this index.html file, main.js file and style.css file. So let's start with the markup. And uh, since we are using VS Code, we can just type exclamation and press tab and you will get this HTML5 boilerplate. We'll just type something over here, CSS animation. And we'll also link our style.css file. So style.css. The markup is uh, really simple. We'll just create a division with a class of container and in that we'll create a division with a class of menu button and then we'll create a nav element and in that we'll type menu items. Alright, now we'll open this with live server. So right click and click on open with live server. And uh, before the body ends, we will uh, include our script file. So we'll type script src and we'll type main.js. Alright, now we'll go to our style.css and uh, style this page. First of all, we'll give some global styling. So here we'll type margin 0, padding 0, and box sizing to border box. Now we'll also give some style to the body. So here we'll type display to flex, flex direction to column, align items to the center and uh, padding top of 100 pixels height of 100 viewport height and background color of fb 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 now we'll style the nav so here we will type margin top of 48 pixels font family of roboto black and uh, sans serif and we'll set the font size to 32 pixels text transform to uppercase and the color of the text to fa 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 and background color to 014b4b and we'll give a max height of 100 pixels and padding of 8 pixels and 32 pixels and we don't want to display this right away so when we click on the hamburger icon we want to display this so what we'll do is we'll just remove this from here and we'll create a nav.visible class so when we have a nav and it also has a visible class then these styles will be applied so we'll just copy this and here we will just set the max height to 0 and we'll set the opacity to 0 over here and here we'll set the opacity to 1 and we also want a smooth transition so we'll type transition of all to 0 0.4 seconds all right now we'll style the icon so here we'll type dot menu btn and we'll give a width of 100 pixels and a height of 16 pixels and a background color of black and we'll also set the position to relative because we want to have two pseudo selectors after and before and we want to have their positions relative to this menu button and we'll also give it a transition of all to 0 0.4 seconds so that we'll have a smooth transition b between uh, two different states all right now we'll use pseudo elements to design the rest of our hamburger icon so we'll use the after and the before pseudo elements. So here we'll type menu button colon colon after. Now here you have to have a content property. So we'll type content and uh, let's just type A over here. And if I set the position to absolute and uh, here if I just type write minus 10 pixels. Here we can see A is displayed over here after the menu button. So using pseudo elements, you can add extra information to your 
elements so what we'll do is we'll just leave the content to blank and we'll add some other styles so we'll set the background to black and we'll basically copy these styles from here and uh, paste it over here and we'll set the top to 28 pixels and we'll also copy this transition from here now here we can see our hamburger icon is almost finished now we'll also create a before pseudo element and create almost the same styles we'll just change the position so here we will type comma dot menu button colon colon before and uh, we'll remove this top from here and uh, here we'll type menu button colon colon after and we'll paste the top over here and uh, here we'll type menu button colon colon before and here we'll say bottom to 28 pixels all right there we have our hamburger icon now we'll style the container division so here we'll type container and uh, we'll set a height of 72 pixels display of flex align items to center justify content to the center and cursor to pointer so now if I hover over this we have this uh, different cursor if I just add a background color you can see the container so here is the container so I'll just remove this now when we click on this container we want to change this icon into a close icon so whenever we click on this icon we will add a class called active to the container so here we will type container dot active and you shouldn't have space in between because we want to have both this container and the active so we will go to our index.html and we will add active over here we'll write some javascript to add and remove this class active when we click on this icon but for now we'll just add the active class over here so here we will type dot menu button colon colon after now here we want to add a rotation so we'll type transform and we'll type rotate z and we'll set the angle to 45 degrees and we'll also move its position so we'll type translate and we'll set it to minus 20 pixels and uh, minus 20 pixels we'll also change the background color to d60303 all right now we'll copy this and uh, we'll paste it over here and uh, here we will type before and we'll change the rotation to negative 45 degrees and we'll change the values in translate to minus 20 pixels and uh, 20 pixels all right so here we have the close icon now we want to remove this uh, line from here so we'll just type container dot active and uh, here we will type menu btn and uh, we will give it a background color of transparent all right that's it for our css we'll just save this and uh, we'll remove our active class from here now we'll go to our main.js file and uh, here we will write some javascript to add and remove classes so first of all we'll reference the container and the nav so we'll type const container equals document dot query selector dot container and uh, we'll type const nav equals document dot query selector nav now here we will add an event listener to container so container dot add event listener and we'll type click over here and we'll create an arrow function over here and we'll type container dot class list dot toggle and uh, we'll toggle the class active so now if we click on this container we can see it performs the animation all right now we'll display and remove our uh, nav so here we will type if container dot class list dot contains so if our container contains a class called active then for the nav we have to add a class called visible and if you don't have the active class inside container then we'll remove the visible class from nav so we'll type remove over here and we'll type visible all right that's it with the javascript so let's 
test it out so when we click on this we can see we have this animation and we also have this nav menu displayed over here and when we click on it again it goes back so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day